Hey guys, this one is how to add buttons on Squarespace. So if you're looking to add a call to action on your website, there are different ways to do it on Squarespace. You can add a few different types of buttons and you can also get some really great analytics and see if people are clicking on them and actually going and performing the action that you want them to. So there's a few different ways and methods that we're gonna go through in this video. I'll leave the timestamps for this video in the description for you alongside some other helpful tutorials and Squarespace information. Once you've logged into your Squarespace and you've come through to your site, then it should look like this. And we need to go in firstly and add some blocks with buttons. So we can come through to edit our page. We'll just come through and click edit like this. And then that will take us through to the editor. Now, the way that you can add buttons most easily is actually adding sections or blocks with those buttons. As the Squarespace editor really only relies on inputting some presets, this is the way that you can do it. So actually this site, you can see we've got some really good buttons right here. And actually there are buttons absolutely everywhere on this theme right here. And then as we come down, there's even more buttons. And even in the header, there's a take action button right here. If we want to actually add a new section with a button, we can come through to highlight one of the blocks and then just click add section like this. And then you can come through and choose all of the different presets that actually have buttons in there. So let's just add this one very quickly and you will see it's imported right here. We have a really great image on the background. You can of course edit this text any way that you want. And then the button is right here and then we can come and edit that button right now. Firstly, just make sure that you click on the block and then you'll get the edit option right here. So you can delete it or you can come and edit. You can of course change the text. I'm gonna change this one to get inked like this. And of course the click through URL is really important as well. So when people click the button, it will go through to a specific URL on your page. What's great about Squarespace is it makes this easy for you. You can see that I clicked the settings button. Now you can link an entire page if you want. So if you know the URL of that page, you can do that. But what's great as well is that you can just come down to page and all of the pages in your store are going to be able just to be clicked on. Now I've got a home page and nothing else, but if you had a blog page or a services page or a page with some prices, any pages that you add will be linked here and you can very simply just click that and then you can see forward slash home. So any page, the name, you can just put forward slash and then the name of the page and it will automatically link to that. You can of course use an email. So maybe if someone needs to email you for something, a phone number, and then that can even go through to a file as well. So you've got lots of options in Squarespace for that. I'm happy just to link it to a page though and to home so you can click save and then you know that that box is going to link through to the right place. You can come and just change some of these size and alignment settings as well, but I'm fine with this. So I'm just gonna click apply and then get inked. We'll go through to any page that you want. You can click on the wider block here and actually edit this as well. So I'm gonna change the background very quickly and I'm gonna click on replace like this you'll see that I actually replaced that with a different image and that makes a lot more sense now. So if people see this, they can come through and get inked. That is really adding a block with a button. Now, what happens if you have a button up here in your site header that you want to edit as well? This is really important. You can use a button like this at the top. So we'll come into edit site header and we can change the options here. You can actually come down to elements to begin with so we can actually change the button so we can change it from take action I and mean, i can also put get inked like this or you may want to put something like free trial just a very good call to action at the top of the site you can also change the web page that it's going to as well right here just like we did previously with the other button once that's done you can just go back like this and then click off and that will be saved for you. A good thing to note though, is that buttons and their placement will change depending on how your customers are seeing the site. So just come up here to mobile and see how that looks. You can see on this theme, it actually just disappears. Just make sure that you know that difference because obviously there's not enough space here on the mobile app, which is why you may want a button at the start of the page right here, which does more or less the same thing. I'm gonna go back to the web version though and show you another way you can add blocks with banners and buttons in a more customized way. So we're gonna to come to add section right here once more, and I'm actually gonna add blank. This is going to add a completely white blank block to your website. Now we can add anything that we want here. So I'm just going to come down to this mix section right here and then click the plus button. This option will come up and you can add various media to this block of course, but we want to add this button right here. 
You can change the text of it just like we've done before and the click through URL of it as well. And then you can click apply. A way to add a button to get some customer information such as their email address is really easy too. We can come to add a section right here. We can now come all the way down to newsletter. It's as simple as that. And you can just add this section in and the button is right there for you. It will come up. You can change all of this text, of course, just like normal. Everything you can edit will be available here for you. So you can just put sub to exclamation marks like this, press apply, that will change. I'll press okay on that one. You then have to go to storage right here. This is the place where your emails will be stored. When a customer does give you their email address, that has to be stored somewhere. And it's easiest just to use the Squarespace email campaigns tab. Everything will be saved in there and then you can go and mark it to your customers very easily. Mailing list default in the email campaigns dashboard, you can create different lists of different types of customers and customers that came to you through different campaigns. I'm just going to press cancel for now because I don't need to do that. So that is another use of buttons. We can also do donation buttons as well. And it's actually slightly different. What we'll do then is press the done button and just save all of our changes to our site. Come out to the main menu. We can now use pop up buttons. So rather than just being on the site all of the time, when someone comes to your site, there could be a pop up with some sort of marketing campaign or a donation button or something else. It's essentially a promotional pop-up. So we're gonna to come to marketing right now and click this. We're then going to go through to promotional pop-ups. Click on this and this is a premium feature as you can see. It's a really great thing though. You can see this pop-up comes up. So rather than having the mailing list on your site, maybe you wanna keep the homepage super simple. Maybe you have a product on there that you don't want to sort of clutter with other things. This pop-up will come up, join our mailing list. People can put their email address in, press subscribe. If they do or don't want to, they can just click off like this and then that will go back to your homepage. It's a good way of popping out something that you want customers do without cluttering up any pages. Another important pop-up to add to your store is social media buttons. So let's come back into the marketing page. We're then gonna scroll all the way down to share buttons, as you can see here. You can then choose which social media sites that you want to link. Now, these buttons will be placed under media. So if you have a video or an image that you allow to be shared, then you can put these share buttons right underneath it and you can click these on or off. So if you don't have a LinkedIn or a Reddit, you can click it off. Or if you do want people to be able to share it on all of those sites, then you can click them on. You can set this up any way that you want. And when you are adding media to your site, you can make sure that you click the option to have those share buttons underneath. You're gonna to need to track all of the analytics data for those buttons so that you know they're actually working or if they're not, why not? And obviously use the buttons that work the best. You can do that in Squarespace and I'll show you how. So I'm gonna come out of marketing and we're actually gonna to go to the analytics tab. So we can come down right here to analytics and we can see some options. Amongst all of your sales and traffic analytics that you can see in your dashboard right here, we can just scroll down and form and button conversions are also tracked. This is a premium feature, so you will have to be subscribed to Squarespace, but you can see all of your form submissions and your button clicks right here. Now, every single button that you make will be tracked. So you can see what exact buttons are getting the click throughs and the form submissions. Not every type of button gets counted. The ones that do get counted are button blocks. You saw us add those with the get inked button, newsletters, forms, promotion blocks, and anything on the cover page will be tracked in here though. If you do change a button or change the name of the button, that doesn't matter. All of the historical data for that button will be tracked in here. Lastly, I want to show you how to change the styles and look of all of the buttons across your site. So we can come back to the homepage. Once you've added all your buttons, we can come to design right here and then come down to buttons and you can see the differences that you can make. So you can change it from a solid style, maybe to an outline style, and that will change right there for you. Now, when I hover over a button, it will highlight. You can choose whatever one you prefer. I kind of like solid. You can also change the shape to a square or a pill. Just change it to square to show you. That moves into a square. I actually kind of like square a little bit more and the padding for the button as well. You can just change that around to any way that you want and you can reset all the styles here. But if you are happy with changes, just come up, click save like that, and then you can go back to the design. But that is really adding buttons on Squarespace. Make sure to subscribe for way more Squarespace and website building tutorials. Also check out the description for more helpful videos and I'll see you in the next one.